Take a look at the tail of the tape, ladies and gentlemen. We're going back to KOK kickboxing rules for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Go3 and all of it presents KO MMA Bushido 106 in Riga, Latvia, and we are live. KOK Super 5 Blue Corner, fight representing Georgia, David Farroyani. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lightweight action under KOK kickboxing rules. David Ferroiani of Georgia. Man alive, we have so many great fighters over the years from the Republic of Georgia. So Ferroiani, I'm sure, has uh, a great team behind him here and is ready to show us David what he can do. David Ferroiani, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Lithuania, Benas Shorokovas. a look at Benas Shorohovas. His brother is uh, also a very active fighter on the KOK roster, Samuelis. Uh, so he comes from a fighting family and that that really helps a lot when you've got other people surrounding you in your inner circle who are supportive and actually doing the same thing you are. Benas Shorohovas, Lithuania. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 18 years old, official height 177 centimeter, official weight 69 kilos, his professional record, one win, one draw, three losses, Amatiru K1 European champion, representing Amatiru K1 Federation, Georgia, David Faroyani. <laughs> fighting out of the red corner, 18 years old, official height 176 centimeter, official weight 70 kilos. His professional record 12 wins, one by knockout, four losses. Winner of SWAT tournaments, representing Dan Ralph's gym, Lithuania, Benas Shorokovas. <laughs> Rig referee Valery Mikalauskas, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Round one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Touch of gloves, and we are underway. Remember, back to KOK kickboxing rules in the lightweight division. Ooh, that left hand definitely got through. Oh, and there's another one now. Look at the eyes of Faroyani, boy. He was just burning a hole <laughs> right through Shorohovas when he connected with that first punch. That killer instinct came out. There it is again. Great combinations there from the Georgian. Popped him with a left hand there as he ate a body kick. Shadohava's trying to charge in with the knees, 
but everything Bardoyani is throwing has bad, bad intentions behind it. And these are very powerful blows. Both guys kind of ducking in there at the same time, almost a collision of heads. Well, after a very aggressive start to this fight, you can feel that things are starting to slow down here. Oh, maybe I misspoke there. But things are starting to resemble some kind of semblance of order instead of just a slugfest. Mm, man. Oh, wow, what a right hand that was. That was a home run. But the lightweight division in KOK is really competitive. There's, it's, it's one of the divisions that I think has the most uh, fighters in it, and, and very, very talented fighters as well, too. So uh, these two, very young, both just 18 years old, and it'll take a while for them to, to actually break through, I think, into the top 10 as uh, Shadrachovic hits the deck. But you got to start somewhere. And what better place to start here than in the mega series in Riga, Latvia? Closing seconds now. Five. Almost a moment of zen there <laughs> in the corner of Ben S. Shadohova. He just took a big deep breath and trying to prepare himself now for round number two. But before we get there, let's take a look at what happened in that previous round. Man, like a Fado Ayani came out like a bolt of lightning in round number one, folks. Landed some very powerful shots, and I think he actually knocked some sense into Shoto Hovas because uh, I don't think he was expecting that rough of an opening 30 seconds or so. But afterwards, I think he was able to Fighters. regain his composure. and get himself back in the fight. So let's see what happens now as round two opens up. Will Faroyani once again open up Second in round. the same way? Shadohovas looks very calm in there, very relaxed here in round two. And it does seem like both guys are a little bit more technical now, a little bit more under control. Honestly, though, I, I did kind of like the way that Fariani was fighting in that first 30 seconds of round one. Those upstairs with a very powerful head kick. Blocked on the gloves, though, of the Georgian. Oh, a powerful overhand right, and Shorohovas definitely felt that one. You can tell from the welts on his midsection, on his torso, he's certainly feeling the effects of the shots from round number one as well. Oh, 
Low kick there by the Lithuanian. Right back with three shots of his own is Federiani. We have seen Shanahovas before a couple of times here in, in KOK. He started competing for the organization during the pandemic in the KOK Classic series of events. I haven't seen him for a, a little bit though. It seems like he certainly has been keeping in good shape. Boy, he looks amazing coming in here in this contest. Wait a minute. That was an awkward exchange there. It seemed like Farayani went down to a knee at one point. It's not a knockdown, but it did look a little bit weird. 30 seconds remaining now in round number two. Well, he came in there and it was a glancing kind of a shot and he ended up with his back to his opponent. Boy, this is a much slower paced round here, perhaps a more thoughtful round. And again with his back to his opponent. Referee warning him twice about that there. You can only, you can only push that so many times before the referee gets fed up. And you can be docked a point because of that if it's, you know, too many times. That's why the referee tells you at the beginning of the contest, listen to my commands at all times. Because if you don't, you end up getting penalized. Round two highlights, ladies and gentlemen. Just one round left to go to settle it between David Farawiani of Georgia and Benes Shorohovas of Lithuania. Fighters. This could be the deciding round right here. Final round. They're going to hug it out and then they're going to slug it out. Well, this is the time when you have to make a statement here. Ooh, nice combination there. Snuck in a head kick at the end. Shadohovas tried to get one back, but didn't quite catch him with it. Ooh, look at the way he changed levels there. And clubbed him with a right hand. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the evening, at the conclusion of the Mega Series, we will have a KOK European light heavyweight title contest. Nihal Valchak taking on Kristaps Zile for the championship. It's the first time we've ever had a European light heavyweight championship matchup. It's been a long time since we've had anybody other than Sergei Maslaboyev holding a strap in the light heavyweight division. That's going to be exciting coming up at the end of the evening. And he just spat his mouth guard right out there. I was going to say something about it a moment ago. Is he... Sometimes those things are uncomfortable in there or you can't breathe, especially once it's getting into the later rounds and you're trying to get some extra air in those lungs. 
and he was playing around with it in his mouth, and that time it just fell right out. Not much time left here. Inside a minute in round number three. I think it's close here. I think this one's going to be very close. Oh, man, punishing right hand that there, a left, I believe, down to the body by Shoto Hovas. Oh, he's leaving himself open there for shots, and he's lucky he didn't get something worse. Is that going to be a count? No, I thought he slipped. Shoto Hovas was sure almost that that was a knockdown. I think these two are starting to feel the pace here. They're slowing down a bit. Whoa! The referee just a little bit late to step in there, and I don't think that Faroyani was ready. Oh, he rips off a vicious knee there. Perhaps got away with the clinch. And that is the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. We go to the scorecards. How do you have it at home? Faroyani raising his hand over there in the blue corner. But honestly, a lot of times the body language of the fighters will, will tell you a lot as far as who the winner weight may be. I don't see either fighter looking extremely confident at this point. They both just look tired. They look exhausted. And they look happy to see that the final bell has gone. As we take a look at some highlights from round number three, that was a lot slower of a round. Very slow paced round. I think both guys felt it pretty hard through rounds one and two. Uh, but as the longer this fight went on, the, the more strategic it became. Who will be the winner here? In this lightweight contest under KOK kickboxing rules, the lovely ladies, the Bushido Angels are in the ring. And we're just waiting for Ritsis Kuzmenka to make it official. And I believe he does have the decision, so we'll send it up to the ring momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Super Fight after three rounds by points two one. The winner is Red Corner Ben of us, Lithuania. A very close fight here. I don't know if this crowd in, in Latvia is satisfied. They let out kind of a groan. But uh, Shorohova squeaks it out by split decision here in Riga, Latvia.